So the key, we just saw this example here, Golang Web Dev. And I'm speaking in a little bit of a slower cadence because we have a student who has a translator a hearing challenge, student who has hearing challenges. And so I'm just trying to slow things down a little bit. And we just looked at this example and then recreated it. And uh, now we're going to jump in and try to understand what's happening here. We got it running, but we want to understand what's happening here. And so a key to understanding that is I really believe in being able to sort of learn to read and understand the documentation. So we're at package net HTTP. And one of the core tenets of HTTP, this package, is understanding and understanding the handler type. Understanding the handler type. So we have we have this thing that we just did here, listen and serve. And there's listen and serve TLS. Sounds like a Depeche Mode song from the 80s. Anybody get that reference? No? Here we have listen and serve. And it takes, has two parameters. So it takes two arguments. And takes an argument of type string, a value of type string, and a value of type handler. So here's listen and serve, which is how we start our server. And that's appropriately named. Because one of the things you want to strive for in Go is readable code. So you want clarity and readability. And think about that name, listen and serve. And start to think about Go code kind of like Japanese poetry. It's like a haiku where you want to look and see what is the meaning that's been embedded into this text. And listen and serve is telling you something. It's easy to just glance past it and think it's a function called listen and serve. Too many people just go right past that. And what you have to do is kind of stop and reflect, why is it named listen and serve? It's a great name for this function. Because it's going to listen for incoming requests, and then it's going to fulfill those requests. It's going to serve responses. What a great name for a function, listen and serve. Just think about all of the different names they might have chosen. Listen and serve is amazing. That was a really well-named function. And this is what runs our server. This is what gets our server going. Listen and serve. Listen and serve, baby. And we, we pass in. What do we pass in? Listen and serve listens on the TCP network address ADDR, which is just a variable name. So we pass in a network address. And we were passing in 8080. Listen and serve listens on the TCP network address 8080 and then calls serve with handler to handle. So this handler to handle requests on incoming connections. Accepted connections are configured to enable TCP keep lives. Okay. Maybe I gotta go take that TCP class. The handler is typically nil, in which case the default serve mux is used. So if we pass in nil here, we're gonna use default serve mux. So we passed in nil, which means the default serve mux is used. Well, let's explore that. Let's understand the documentation. I'm gonna hold down command or just right click and link open link a new tab to go into the source code for the Go programming language. This will take me into the source code for the Go programming language. 
and here's that listen and serve again and listen and serve right it said it calls serve with handler to handle requests so handler is the name of the variable and it's of type handler and then server server handler return server listen and serve so I'm, I was just looking to see what's it mean when it calls serve right so maybe it's calling server maybe that's what it means but I'm just embracing that spirit of adventure and exploration spirit of exploration I'm doing exploring to try to understand how's this thing built I might come back here to the index search for serve and then just look through the index I don't know where I'm at there we are and just see if there's a function serve and here's the function serve so maybe eventually it's calling this function I don't know but I'm just sort of exploring how does this work so we started out with listen and serve in this video and we want to understand it and listen and serve takes an address we gave it colon 8080 as a string so it's in double quotes and then it takes a handler and if we pass in nil as the handler something called default serve mux is used so we're going to explore what default serve mux is and what a handler is in the next video this video is just to understand listen and serve if you want to take this full course find it all right here baby